Hello. 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 Okay. While people are jumping on, I really want to, um, y'all, I look a mess right now. Let me just explain why in just a minute. Okay. Drop me a one. If you catch this live, you'll know if you're live up here, there'll be a red box. Drop a two. If you catch the replay and, um, hashtag sprinkled. If you share, click share down here, share this because what I'm going to say y'all could possibly change someone's life and it may not be for you, but it could be for someone else. Um, and touch my mal bun. This is called the mal bun. We'll talk about the mal bun in a minute and make sure it says following so that you never miss anything. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Jan. Hey, Sherry. Hello. Hello. Uh, Y'all, if you missed this peppermint exfoliator, I'm so sorry for you. I actually might have a few extras. This is the best Merry Christmas gift. It was one of the Black Friday things. This was one of, from the last year. I'm so glad they brought it back out. I, I love it. Sometimes I sleep with it on. You need to get, there's a regular exfoliator too. So if you don't like scent, there's unscented. But you need a good exfoliator. That's what I'm about to do on my face. And then we're going to talk about some things. And we're going to talk about power in numbers and how power in numbers is massive in this business. And what it did for a lot of people a few nights ago. So let me get my exfoliating mask. So I use the spatula. I call it a spatula. It's a mask applicator. It's plastic. For this particular mask, I just use it to get it out of the jar so I'm not sticking my dirty fingers in there. Even though my hands are clean, it's still like germy, right? You don't want to put your germy hands all over. So, and then I wet my fingers and I turn it into a paste, like a microderm paste almost. And then get the dead skin off, guys. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Becca. Hey, Pamela. Okay. Tell me hi when you jump on. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mechanically exfoliate um, for one minute. I'm gonna lightly rub this. This is kaolin clay that actually cleanses. And then we have shea butter that's gonna moisturize. And then there's sea salt, which actually does the exfoliating. So it's good for sensitive skin. But this is actually one of the most crucial steps in skincare is exfoliating, guys. If you're missing this step, you're not getting dead, dry skin off. And if you're oily, you still need to get dead skin off, guys. Dust in your house is dead skin, okay? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet it even more, and I'm going to do it on the back of my hands. And I learned this from when I got my facial in Cancun. She did it. And I was like, that is genius because your hands can age and look, I don't want to age anywhere. Like I'm okay getting older. I don't want to look older. Okay. And now I'm at that point where people tell me how young I look and I, and the oldest I've ever been. It's freaking phenomenal. What amazing skincare does in complying with good skincare. Hey, Elena. Hey, Mark, Miss Gabby. Hey, Taylor. Okay. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands off though because I need to use them. But, oh, it feels so good. Oh, I didn't even get a new rag, hold on. I gotta wash this robe too. I got, I don't know if that's a mask I got on it. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna tell you all a story real quick. So we had a showing on our house today, like last minute. I swear the email was sent at like 1 a.m. So we like woke up to it. And we keep our house pretty clean anyways, especially now that's on the market but it threw us for a whole loop. Raina was supposed to put Christmas lights on the freaking house and he wasn't able to. And so, hold on, let me get a rag. And he, um, anyway, so we had to like really clean up, you know, like get with it, clean the bathroom, <laughs> make sure all Corbin's chaoticness was it all picked up. But anyway, it's so weird, like knowing people come in your house, but it is what it is. Okay. So, if you know anybody wanting to move to the best town ever, I'm not even going to say the best town because I would totally move back home if I could, but I'm going to talk about real quick, this is going to be just a quick overview, I'm going to show you everything that comes in this bag, and actually, my Kudos Club winner earned this bag, um, and I, have, I do fun things on my VIP page, if you're not in there, 
and you're not a presenter, drop the word VIP and you can be added. We got all kinds of things that go down in my Magnificently You blog. Hey, Rache. Hey, Gina. But in this particular bag right now, it's valued at over $300 and something dollars for $99. Oh, I was like, did I get a, the mask in my mouth? Look at the mask. It matches my teeth. So, y'all, here's another thing. You know how we have, like, body morphia? Like, we see ourselves completely different than other people. Same for your teeth. So, everybody thinks their teeth are way more yellow than they are. Like, even me. I look in the mirror. I'm like, God, my teeth are so yellow. But I can't bleach them because these two are fake because I broke them in, like, second grade. But then I put this mask on and I'm like, what? They're really not that white. I mean, yellow. But anyway, totally squirrel moment right there. <laughs> squirrel. Hey, Megan. Hey, I'm, hey guys. Okay, so here in this particular bag, you get this full-size mask that I'm using, okay? This mask alone is $49. This bag is $99. But on top of this mask, you get waterproof mascara. You get a regular mascara you get this and a lash serum where's my lash serum where you go so these alone are 24 42 okay so plus a mask i mean the value of this kit is extreme amazing so like if you already love the products you like to save money you want a discount and you know you're gonna like really like to shop and do it this is the way to go because then you get to save money i'm all about saving people money right now, if you're just going to give the kit and run, like, that's really not going to do anything for you, but you can totally do it, and then just you get to hang out with me and be a customer, but you also get an eye primer, um, you get this, you get an eyeliner, I don't know what shade, they don't tell you, it's kind of like a mystery bag, it's like a $99 mystery bag, have you ever seen on eBay where they do mystery boxes, and you don't know what you're going to get, like, I've seen some jacked up mystery boxes, like, Drop me some hearts if you've seen some jacked up mystery boxes. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Monica. Hey, Susan. So, um, guys, go ahead and share this for real because you may not need this, but you could be a referral for someone that does need something like this in their life. If it, whether it be something for them, something financially to help so that, you know, somebody that needs help money wise, but they can't work extra jobs because they can't be away from their family. Um, or it could just be fun for them, you know, something, but Y'all, this hair is driving me insane because it's about to fall. It's so heavy. It's like falling backwards. Anyway, so you get an eyeliner. You also get a cream shadow of choice, um, which looks like this. A lot of product in this tub. So you get a cream shadow. You get an eyeshadow palette of choice. I should have um, been more prepared, but we were packing it up. So there's five of these that you could get. This particular one I just happened to grab is what I call my romantic palette. Isn't that pretty? Um, you get the blending brush that I tell everybody in the world they need to get their hands on if you wear eyeshadow makeup. You also get, um, what else do you get? Oh, you get this lip plumper that you cannot get off the website. It's literally only in this kit. It's called Hottie. I'm not huge on lip plumpers because I have full lips, but I actually really like that one. It really treats. It's not super like bold, hardcore, burnt like that, you know? Um, and then you also get a lip pencil, which looks just like an eye pencil, but it's a lip pencil. And then I already told you about this. You get a sample of all the masks and you get a sample of all foundation. So anyways, lots of fun stuff that comes in this particular kit as of right now. And this bag alone is totally worth it. It's got like a softy, soft place for like your laptop or like your um, iPad or if you, you know, anyway, I know a lot of people that use it as like diaper bags or like bags, purses, whatever. Anyways, it's only $99 guys. But hey Ash, hey Jess. But on top of that, it comes with so much more and that's what we're going to talk about power in numbers. Okay. So I think it's been five minutes. Let me go ahead and get this mask off. So this particular mask, y'all look, like I need to wash this. I'm pretty sure that's the mask. <laughs> um, I told Brandon, remind me to wash it because I don't wash this that often because I don't want to like mess it up, but I have washed it a few times and it comes out perfect. I love this freaking robe. I could live in it. Um, anyways, you also get so many things. Like there's no auto ship. There's no annual fees. There's... You get birthday money on your birthday. I mean, at my work right now, I'm lucky to even get a happy birthday from people. Um, you get 
people like me to work with one-on-one. -on -one. You get awesome mentors. I mean, everybody, anybody that does the simple things has success. Um, and that's where I'm going to come in with the power in numbers. So a couple days ago, the end of the month, November is always a huge month um, in the Y world. And let me just tell you how it works. So one of my girls was going for her like dream promotion, something she's been working for for a long time, growing into a, this awesome leader. She's so deserving of it. And people came in and pulled in helping her that have no benefit on her. And something about this company, guys, there's just a powerful, there's something big to say about a lot of women coming together wanting success for people, okay? You will not find that everywhere. I'm gonna tell you right now, like I love my career as a hygienist and I really do love my office. I've been there eight years and oh look, I'm opening a new mask. Isn't that cute? It has a little spatula on it. I don't really use that spatula for this one though because I like to apply this one with a brush. But anyways, they do come with that in case you're curious. Um, Anyways, so for example, like at my office, I'm a hygienist, right? You got to go to college for that. Um, two, four, it takes at least four years to go to college for it, okay? But there's a lot of people that don't want to see you doing better than them. And, you know, I get it. When I first started, I was very young um, at this office. I mean, I've been there eight years. So how old was I? 23 when I started. And I would get told things like, well, you make more than us, so why don't you do this? Or, I, you know, like just little jabs about making more than other people in the office. When we can all go to school to be hygienists, right? There's like no restrictions of who goes to school to be a hygienist. Or nobody controls your fate but you. But I've never really, like it was just mind-blowing how many people don't want to see other people succeed. Now, I will tell you. They have supported me in this journey, um, half of them. The other half can't stand that I'm successful in more than one thing, guys. And that's why I surround myself with every day. So you know what I've had to do? I've had to grow. I've had to grow thick skin. I mean, all my life I've had to grow thick skin. When you're the fat kid, you, you learn to have thick skin or you just learn how to throw down real good. No, but anyways, for real, like, you have to realize you have to surround yourself with people that are like-minded or you're never going to grow up. So if you have people that are small-minded or don't have big goals and dreams or just want to sit around and talk bad about other people or don't want to see other people being successful, you can't surround yourself with that because that's going to turn into your reality. What you surround yourself with is your reality. So if you have, you know, brand, a lot of people, like a lot of brands, guy friends, for example, None of his, their wives financially support my business and I am successful. None of, half my family, majority of my family doesn't financially su support my business. Mentally, half of my, all my family, all my family supports me mentally. But friend wise, I could name hundred, like probably half my friends that won't even talk to me about me. They don't even want to hear, they don't want to see me doing better than what I have. Or I get thrown, well, you make this much with that. You're like killing it with that. You can afford to do this and that and this. And it's little jabs like that. And I just tell them, yeah, you're absolutely right. I work hard for what I do. You want a brush? You want this one? Hold on. Okay. But the thing is, this company is filled with so many women from all over the world that truly want other people to succeed that have nothing to do with them. So we all buckled together. One of my good friends that I grew up with, went to church with, went to high school with, she was going for a huge promotion. You know, I went in and helped her girls get to where they were needing to get so she could, everybody could have success. I helped I had girls from all over reaching out to help my girls. I mean, it's just powerful. It's such a powerful company. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have a lot of friends that are in a lot of other companies and I never hear that from them ever. And when I tell them how we are in this business, they're mind blown. I'm not saying there's not rotten apples in every business and there's not golden hearts in every business. There is. But when you're surrounded by like-minded people, it's powerful. Okay. So I challenge people to really surround yourself with people that are going to bring you up. If it doesn't make you better, if it doesn't make you money, if it doesn't make you happy, 
get it out of your life. Don't stick around for all that baloney, okay? Not everybody's gonna see everything that you do and believe in you, but one day their eyes will open and they'll be open-minded, open-hearted, whatever it is about what you're doing, and they'll support you. Guys, somebody somewhere owns the restaurants you eat at, owns the stores that you shop at, owns the um, clothes you wear, owns the food you eat, the grocery stores, the um, anything. There's somebody that owns something. So when you're supportive of somebody that has a small business that truly is passionate about what they do, especially when it comes to helping other people um, not struggle mentally or physically or emotionally, guys, be supportive. Like what does it hurt, harm you or hurt you, right? So power in numbers, this, I hate to even say like the sisterhood because that kind of sounds like, like sorority-ish and like, yeah, yeah, but you don't have to like pay for friends here. Um, I've never been a sorority type girl. I've never been one that needed a lot of girlfriends, but I have a ton of girlfriends that I freaking love. Um, like so much that I could have had 27 bridesmaids, like no lie. Um, and I didn't think I needed any more friends, but there's something about being surrounded by people that want to see you succeed, but also are your biggest fans. They're there on your bad days. They're there on your good days. And these are girls that I've become so close with that know more about me than I probably know about me and that I've become best friends. So I always say, if this is something, if, if you're missing something in your life, which I didn't think I was, I did know I needed a hobby, right? So when that's kind of what made me look into doing this was Brandon kept telling me I needed a hobby and here I had this kind of at my fingertips and I was like well what is this and then it became so much more and it's like passion of mine to travel all over and train girls to become someone they're meant to be um we were not born to be mediocre we were not born to be nothing and sometimes too many of us ride the coattail of comfortableness and we be we never live out our full potential even myself, I'm, I haven't tapped into my full potential there. I still have fears and things that hold me back. But talking about this opportunity is not one of them because I've seen what it's done for my family. I've seen what it's done for hundreds of thousands of other families and bringing them home, bringing husbands home, um, providing them with paying off debt. I mean, I can't even, I can go into paying for fertility. I mean, there's so many reasons why people do this, but it all starts with a passion and love. So. Hey, Christy. Um, anyways, Christy is one. She was an awesome customer of mine. She watched forever. What did you watch for at least a year before she decided to jump on? And she is slaying it. Anybody that is on, that Christy's their leader, she's naturally a leader. Um, and she, uh, anyways, you won't know until you get in this business. And that's why I don't expect anybody to really understand until you're a part of this business and you just get that feel. But you may know somebody that needs it. It may not be for you. It may not be, you may not think it's for you. You may not want an extra income stream. You may not want extra money. You may not care if you can get an extra mani-pedi. You may like asking your husband, hey, can I have $20 to go here? Or you may like living paycheck to paycheck, but there's people that don't. And there's people that want so much more. And that's who this is for. It's for those ones that just want something fun for themselves. A stay-at-home mom that just needs something that she can escape to, a happy place. You know, it's hard being just a mom and a working mom and a stay-at-home mom. And we're all, momming is momming, right? Even if you don't have kids, college kids, broke college kids, I was there. I had $50 a week to spend when I was in hygiene school. Five zero, fifty dollars $50. That's $200 a month to spend outside of bills, okay? And I was living on student loans because in hygiene school, you cannot work. Guys, if somebody had given me this then, I would have been in heaven because everybody's on Facebook or Instagram, social media, people are on it. Um, let's just accept it that that's the way the world has gone. And I wish somebody would, I wish this company would have even been around when I was in college. It was not, but I'm just saying this is for everybody from 18 on anybody that has skin that washes their face can do this. even if you don't wash your face you can still do this because i've met some girls <laughs> i'm just kidding but anyways this is a phenomenal sisterhood and friendship and it's just so unexplainable until you get here and i know there's some of y'all in the back that are being silent right now that you know deep down inside that you're missing that something that something deep down and you just don't know it yet and i challenge you to 
take that leap of faith, find that person you relate to, link arms with them and run with it. Got to have your own money. Yes. Got to have your own money. You never know what's going to happen in life. Okay. You got to have your own money. Be ahead of the game, not behind the game. Right? So it is a life changer. It really, really is. But anyways, so I just want to reach out, tell you, find that person that fills your soul, that speaks your language, that you feel you could work with, that would help you be successful. Um, and just do it. Join them, run with them, do the simple things. This isn't something you have to work 24 hours a day. You can, it goes with you on your phone. Thankfully, I had it to work yesterday when I sat for an hour in the car while Corbin slept. I mean, it's just amazing. And it's something I look forward to every night, every morning. I love talking to my girls. I love seeing them hit goals. And a very good side effect is makeup skills. <laughs> I didn't even wear hardly any makeup before Unique. And now, like looking back to now, like it's just a side effect. It's like a sport, something you practice over and over, you get better at. People always tell me they are terrible at makeup and they want me to help them. Well, like I can't help them. You have to do it. You have to learn and keep doing it and keep doing it. So I love y'all. Thanks for hopping on with me. I'm gonna finish taking care of my skin because I want people to keep asking me, keep telling me that I look young because that's never been a thing in my life that anybody has ever told me I look young. <laughs> So I'll take it, but I love y'all and I'm telling you right now, if you've ever thought even an inkling, now is the time. A couple of my um, mentors are doing an opportunity call tomorrow. You can drop the word call. You can message me um, just to be a fly on the wall. They won't even know you're listening when you pop on. You can hear some information, um, but oh, get in my inbox. Ask me questions. I am an open book open book. I'm driven by numbers. So if you're a numbers person like me, I will speak numbers with you. Like hands down, don't be afraid to ask and don't be afraid to dive into something guys. Be open-minded. We're in 2018. We're about to be 2019. They're, the way the world is going is this way. So be ahead of it. Don't be behind. So I love y'all and I will see y'all later and have a good Sunday night. Bye guys.